Find a way up to the building's roof. I'll lower the crane for you. Братуха, that was crazy, блин. Those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers I never have a chance against them. You, you just cut through them, блин. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Crest, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me? Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. 
Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal blit. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. There, tsarfish <laughs> live there, you know? Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. Here is my cave. And this is where I live. Now the palace, one, oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo or grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Oh, anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty place. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. I to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chased me away. Dumb cousins didn't like my life. Yeah, I've been banned from the village in the bridge ever since. You shouldn't start a fight with them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they were probably just scared shitless by your arrival. How great they thought Judgment Day had come and right on time, too! <laughs> now, you could take the zip line down, just hook up and uh, away you go. Uh, you have nothing to fear from them. Yeah. The beast? Well, that's another story, though.
Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you.
It's good I can't found me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, Artyom, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. Dad, 
It's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. Oh, Anna. One day I will have a heart attack because of you. You are getting detention <laughs> once you are back, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, is that you? <laughs> I'm going to find Anna. Now I want you to drag her butt here with extreme prejudice. Time to talk some sense into that brat. <laughs> Stepan's asking for some tools. <laughs> Head back. Help Stepan persuade my father about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us. Artyom, I am feeling better now. Really, I am. So, Sam, tell me what the real enemy bases look like so that we know when, when we see it. Well, first of all, there are these huge humanoid robots. All plastered with stars and stripes, with nuclear reactors up their asses. Oh, and the food's great. Burgers, fries, shakes. Nah, I'm being serious. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, we're letting you be serious too. How the hell am I supposed to know how they look now? I haven't seen one in, what, 20 years or so? Artyom, help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come with us, even though Katya told us where to find a passenger car in great condition. I... Uh, we... We have to go back now, I guess. Where... Where would you go? Those fanatics would eat your life. Well, Hi, Artyom. All right, welcome to the crew. Thank you. Won't let you down. Hey, Artyom. See how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So... Disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traders' boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sipan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, 
This is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll and move into the stove. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? Huh? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom. If the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich. No two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff you hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's done. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out, and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom, Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench, with storage space for all my tools, and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whatever you want. Always in their best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> You'll have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. Listen, Artyom, I have something for your Tihar. You can try installing it. Use the workbench. Well, I won't keep you here any longer. 